Hey everyone, I want to go over the new and exciting news that we got for Monster Hunter Eyes on the Nintendo Switch and on PC. Capcom went finally ahead and confirmed that version of the patch 3.9, which is going to be dropping on February 24th, is going to be finally syncing up both the Nintendo Switch and PC versions of the game, with all the DLC is going to become available on both games at the same time for each one of the consoles. So. PC players who have been missing out and they didn't necessarily get it before are finally going to be able to get every single weekly event that you're going to see on the Nintendo Switch is going to be appearing on PC going forward. So that's always good. So Capcom went ahead and they put up this new trailer basically confirming that they're going to be dropping a couple of brand new free DLC armor set options as well as a bunch of weapons for players to be able to finally get their hands on that are essentially going to make the hunt a little bit easier for everyone especially those who are choosing to start playing the game the official monster hunter rise twitter account went ahead and made a post saying get a helping hand from the guild in combat focus black belt armor as a powerful set of defense weapons save camera village from monster hunter rise and be ready for fierce challenges as you approach monster hunter rise sunbreak they did subsequently follow that up as well confirming that the black belt armor set is not just a armor set with its very own stats but it's also going to have his very own layered armor option. So you're going to be able to make this one for just, you know, fashion hunting and stuff like that. So you don't necessarily need to be concerned with missing out in that regard. You're going to have that available there. And all of this is going to start dropping on February 24th. Now, February 24th is when we get version 3.9, I believe is what they're actually calling it. And this is going to come, of course, with a very own set of patch and fixes and stuff like that. And presumably right after this date, we're finally going to be seeing the PC version and the Nintendo Switch version merge and finally become available with all the DLC, all the content synced up perfectly for each one of these games. So, you know, players who have been winning on PC, I know they've been really testy, just hoping for more content. And we're finally going to be able to see a drop and line up properly. So as for the details for each one of these uh, brand new added armor and weapon options, first you're going to have the Defender weapon set. This is going to be 14 weapon types that are going to be coming available into the game. And interestingly enough, they did confirm that each one of the weapons, you're going to have the option to be able to upgrade each one of them as well at the very least once. So we're going to be going that over in just a bit. Then you're going to have the option, of course, to be able to download the black belt armor set. We're going to be going over the stats in just a bit. But that armor set, of course, like I mentioned before, is going to have its very own stats. And it's also going to have a layered armor option. And finally, for those who still haven't necessarily picked it up, the Guild Cross armor set is also going to be available there. If you haven't done that already, you definitely should. That one, of course, also has its very own stats and, of course, its very own layered options. So for this update specifically, you're looking at the Defender weapons and the Black Belt armor set. Now, of course, in order to claim all of this, like every single event quest or any downloadable items, you're going to need to make your way down to the Steelworks, speak to the Courier Cat, go all the way down to the add-ons option. If you haven't done that already, make sure you do that and you're going to get all your free goodies. I always mention this in every video when there's free content because people are always asking how it is that you claim it. And that's pretty much the same way you're going to be doing it every single time. Now, in the trailer that they provided us, they basically show us that these Defender weapons are not only more powerful, but they're significantly more powerful. Uh, they used the Longsword as an example, and they showed that, of course, uh, the Camera Blade number one, this would be the very first weapon you have when you start the game. Uh, this is a 50 attack weapon. And then when you switch over to the Defender Longsword number one, you're going to notice that it has 110 attack and 30 defense bonus. So not only is it almost twice, well, definitely more than twice more powerful, but it also has extra defense as well. So this weapon is going to be extremely good for people who are choosing to start playing the game right away. Of course, PC players will benefit probably from this the most. It would have been great if this stuff would have been available on day one for PC, but you know, at the very least, they had the Guild Cross Armor available there. 
Now, what you will notice also in the trailer that they showcase is that you're going to be able to have the option to upgrade it at the very least once. Uh, the longsword at the very least goes up until attack 150. The defense bonus does not go up and the sharpness still remains in green. It doesn't necessarily go to blue or white for that matter. But, you know, of course, that's understandable. What does that mean in, in real action, like in game? Well, presumably that means that if you're like on the back end of like low rank to high rank, you can easily upgrade this weapon and you're going to be pretty much dealing normal damage at that point in time. Presumably, once you get to high rank, you're going to want to make an actually a brand new weapon and deal with that. But for those who are like hunting like Magnum Allo weapons, I know that on PC people were like at the very like tail end of low rank. You want to get the Magnum Allo weapon that carries you pretty much halfway through high rank. And then you finally make a high rank weapon. You know, you won't no longer have to do that. Uh, these champion defender weapons are going to be able to carry you pretty much all the way there. And like I mentioned before, there's 14 different versions, 14, one for each one of the you know weapon types. So you're not going to be missing out at all, no matter what weapon type you use. Now, when it comes to the black belt armor set, you're going to notice that, of course, in comparison, it's going to be way stronger than even the guild cross armor that you already had access to. The camera, the camera village armor that you get starting out only has one defense, so it's pretty weak. I believe the Guild Cross armor has 24 defense per piece. And then you're going to notice that the black belt armor, each one of the pieces, the head, the chest, the gloves, the pants, and the waist, each one of them are going to have 30 defense. That's pretty much like high rank, the very first few monsters in high rank type of defense. You're going to be doing pretty well when it comes to defense. Not only that, it's also going to have like different statistics that are going to be beneficial to you. Uh, as well as a brand new veteran's talisman that has constitution one and recovery up two. So you're going to be healing up uh, pretty well whenever you're using that. Now, when it comes to the skills, they mentioned that you're going to have higher defense. That basically means that when you take damage from a monster attack, you're going to be taking less damage pretty much right away. That's not going to be a problem uh, with the talisman. Of course, you're going to have better recovery. So whenever you drink a potion, you're going to be earning more health back each one of the potions. You're also going to have some sort of earplugs, presumably earplugs one where monster roars are not necessarily going to be affecting you all that much. Uh, and then you're going to have like boosted damage uh, based on like an enraged status. I forget what skill that is, but you're definitely going to have that as well. So it definitely focuses on like just straight up hunting, which is really good. Unlike the guild cross armor, which they do mention, it's a little bit more harvesting oriented. You definitely want to use that one when you're gathering up materials early on so you can stack up on stuff pretty, you know, pretty well whenever you're starting the game. So you're going to have the option to have 14 defender weapons that are going to be upgraded twice. And then you're going to have this brand new layered armor and stat based armor and the black belt armor set. That's pretty much going to be beneficial either if you want to, you know, just fashion hunt with it or you're just going to be able to wear it whenever you're starting out. This is now the third armor set we're getting in the game in the past like month. So, you know, Capcom finally seems to have realized that. You know, they definitely need to start providing meaningful updates and meaningful content to the game. Even if it's just a silly armor set for fashion hunting that brings you back or just the stat stuff with the weapons, you know, anything to incentivize people to come back and especially benefit those PC players who are desperately needing, uh, you know, brand new updates. Uh, you know, this is always good. This is always beneficial. So remember, on February 24th, we're going to be getting update 3.9.0. That's going to be the brand new patch. Presumably, of course, I'm going to be going over the patch notes whenever we get our hands on those. And of course, we now know at the very least, on top of whatever the event quest is that day, we're going to be able to get uh, 14 brand new weapons and, of course, a brand new armor set as well with a layered armor option. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. If you are brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.